You're listening to the March 26th, 2023 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Okay, good morning. Well, no question of what I would like you to speak of today. Fergus the Fungus is among us. <laughs> it seems it's all over the news about a deadly fungus spreading rapidly throughout the US. Can you release a little more information about this setup? Welcome, Blossom, and all. We smile as we know you are laughing regarding this coming about. As for much of that which we have said of other matters has not yet done so. Yep, look at you go. Where to from here, then? We would gauge that it will be a little while, yet sooner than our soon before the restrictions will be implemented. Can you feel already, Blossom, the frustration of each one as this is announced? Even those who felt so strongly to comply with regulations over the last few years will start to open their minds to the possibility that there is something afoot and will not be so willing to simply obey anymore. This is a good thing. Yes, indeed. Can you say if it'll be as strict as before? Even more so. Oh, joy. Yet in a way, it is joyous, because at last we shall be moving into phase two, which means we're getting a move on. This is so, Blossom. Remember that. Joy. Find the joy in knowing that things are escalating. The divine plan is moving up a notch in terms of visual identity. What do you mean by that? All that is to be uncovered as the layers are removed will prove to many that this is indeed a divine plan. For although it shall present itself as bleak, on the other hand, it will reveal to the uninitiated that love is all around and within. Throughout the confusion that is to occur and present, so much love will emanate from within. Not only the self, yet the Divine Mother Earth and a presence from above and below it. Can you elaborate on that, especially the word presence? We can, Blossom, and we will. We are delighted to do so. Yes, we have spoken of much turmoil and the strength required to rise above it. Yet we have spoken also on the energy that is now flowing through in order to assist you in regaining the knowledge of that which you are. Love. This higher vibration of love that you are matching within your true self is to allow you to feel a loving strength within that tells you that you have arrived. This is it. The power that accompanies this knowing stirs the true you. The you that is no longer distracted by falsehoods to emerge. It is the most exciting of times from our point of view, even though there shall be many who contradict this statement. For that which is drip-fed by those who are crumbling will go all out to try and force you to be afraid. Yet, the Calvary has arrived, as one says. This band of divine-lighted souls is you, coupled with the energy force coming through from other realms. Some souls will almost see the presence of life from elsewhere that have been given permission to enter into Earth's atmosphere to lend a hand. Your backup. As you said that, it made me think of the portal that you spoke of last week. Will this life from elsewhere be entering through it? Indeed. The energy is so strong with you today, I can't type quickly enough. It indeed does feel exciting when many would be feeling dread. And this is why we come, Blossom, to prepare you, to advise you, to help you understand that what is to take place does not belong. Uh, lost you there? What we mean is, that which is about to occur, 
that which will be presented does not belong within the hearts of man. Or woman, I know it's a term used, yet had to bring equality in. Therefore, one's inner knowledge, one's inner understanding, one's inner truth will rise up so strongly from within that each one, in their own time, will know it is time. Time to hold on to our hats. Yes, Blossom. If each one in this moment of now would kindly close their eyes and take in a few deep breaths and tap into our love and truth, the feeling of this knowing of here we go will resonate so easily and gracefully. And yet, at the same time, stir up the warrior within that has been patiently shining shoes and smartening up armor. We are aware that some will not agree with our wording of armor, yet literally it means protection as we choose to use it. That which you have come to know of yourself, that which you can feel, that which you have been expecting of yourself, you shall know, you shall experience. This protection we speak of is your inner knowing, your knowing that the light has won, and you are here to present that to all who have not yet understood. Much of what is to be showcased in terms of telling of outright lies will leave one speechless. Buckle up would be a phrase to use here. Trickles of presenting truth will be initially disclosed, and just when one thinks there could not be any more that could shock and leave one open-mouthed, more shall come through. Wow. Seriously or not so seriously, what a time lies ahead. Oh, dearest Blossom, have you not waited and waited and waited and waited for this? Yep, even though we don't really know what this is. One tries not to speculate and just let it all flow as it should. Yet we humans cannot help but try and see into our future, as it seems so unstable. This is a very good point, Blossom, to let it all flow. Do not get stuck in the energy of what is not. Uh, translate, please. What is, is love. What is not, is not. Here we go. Yet everything is love. Exactly. And what is not, is not. For it is not. So, if it is not, if it doesn't exist, how can we get stuck in it? I'm sitting here, awaiting a response. Are we stumped here? Surely not. Words are not of assistance. Nor is silence. Actually, yes it is. I sat here in silence and somehow get it. Sort of. Yet, as you say, words can't express. For it is not. Oh, poop. We were flowing so nicely. Now I'm stuck in what is not. Shall we skip and move on? No. Let us follow through. Oh, Lord, if we must. So, you are asking us to not get stuck in what is not. Yes. You will simply know what is not. Not true? Yes. Yet more than that. What is more than not true? Something is either true or not. Or simply not. Not what? Scott. <laughs> Not is. Oh, pass the pills, someone. How can something not be? By not being. Nope. Not following. Not flowing. So I choose to move on. 
I know my brain is frazzled and at a standstill. Maybe I can understand that when on a higher level, yet not now. Just not happening to even ask another question. We dutifully appreciate your honesty. And perhaps we may or may not discuss this at another time. Probably may not. So where does that leave us? We were asking you to go with the flow and not get stuck in the... Stop right there. Yep, we will do our best to go with the flow. We would like to add that as truth unfolds, as you, each one, reach understandings in a new way, you will find that the flow has a different meaning. Well, rather than ask in what way, for now I will just say I look forward to that. Sometimes I feel a strength, a knowing in me that words again cannot express. And other times I could just lie down and go to sleep in the hope I wake up when this pantomime is all over. All pantomimes have a happy ending. We admire the courage of each one experiencing life on earth at this time. Each one being exactly where they are meant to be within. Each one allowing the realization of what and who they are. The recognition of why they are here. To come to light at a pace that is suitable. Some lead the way. Some have chosen to be part of this great army of light in a subtler fashion. Yet, each one as strong as the other. Each one walking alongside their family their tribe, each one holding up the ones that are weary, each one walking forward in truth, each one ready, each one moving together as one heart, each one being each one, each one knowing that love is everything. And if it is not, it is not. You little tinkers. <laughs> wow. I best go buy a new hat. This latest one disintegrated with the weight. In gratitude, in loving service, I am ready. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>